Pickett. Good delivery. Great kick by Pickett. And Wanganeen will line them Smart up. Smart play by Byron to square it up. Wanganeen for the lead. Port Adelaide are in front in the grand final. Well, Gav, what can you say about Gav? You can't really say too much about Gav, it's just one thing, legend. You know, when, when I was 13, 14, growing up, I was a mad West Coast Eagles supporter, but the, the one player, my, my favourite player outside of West Coast Eagles was, was Gavin Wanganeen. And there was about five or six of us, Simon Black was, was one of them, had Essendon number four Guernsey. Bring it on, collecting, Marnie having a very good quarter, will it carry over the top for Wanganeen to put the three goals in front? They're the winningest team in Australia. The old Port Adelaide have won 36 premierships. Today at the MCG might just be their finest hour. And there was a couple of key moments. He just he was just reading it far better. Back behind, all over the back, ran around, kicking goals. And uh, he, he makes them goals around the body look easy, but uh, they're not easy goals, but he was able to finish. Money inside the Ford 50 at the back, wing and in, and he will run in and kick a goal. Bang Port ball. Adelaide have gone bang, 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 bang. Um, it was a long ball, and I had um, Chris Scott was on, stood me for the day, and he was, you know, quite tight and wasn't giving me much room. But um, the ball, I sort of sucked him in, in, in with me, but I knew that the ball was going to carry over over the back, so he came with me because he was playing so tight and, and I sort of just turned around and, uh, and marked the footy where he, he went forward with, with my motion and I, I just turned back around and marked it and, and ran into kick a goal. He's very good, Schofield. Wanganeen from behind here has to spoil. Johnson took his time, Wanganeen will kick another and the power are on their way. Every goal he kicked he actually was pretty pumped up and I think one thing I've never never seen Gav pumped up as much as he was that day. I don't think he was pumped up like that in the 93 grand final of the Bombers but um, just to see him you know pumped up after a couple of goals and all the boys getting around him you know it, it lifts lifts other players and it obviously lifted me as well. 16 kicks long Wanganeen's got the sit. Chris Scott in front can't mark. Johnson harassed here's a goal Nate Wanganeen! I just realised the importance of that goal. Uh, I think it was pretty much uh, sank him and just the emotion and I, I threw my arms up in the air, I don't think I've ever done that. I've, I've been the one uh, over, the, over the years, if, if I kick a goal, I'm only going to celebrate if it's goal of the year and if it's not goal of the year I'm not going to do anything. And I've done that all my career except for being final day. Oh, Montgomery to Wanganeen, the man for all occasions, he's done it again, he's headed for a second flag. I don't know how that happened, I mean, to snap it like that from 45 over your shoulder, it was, yeah, uh, I think it was a handball from Mon Monty, Brett Montgomery, and it came my way and I just hit it really sweet, it was, it was a nice goal. <laughs> he grabbed the ball, just went bang, snap, 40 metre snap, it was just like... Normally you say to someone do that again, but Gav could. But it was just, it was almost like it was meant to be. Nothing though, not in good recovery. Runs into Kane Corns, who brings him down. Handball stolen. Montgomery to Wanganeen. Goes for another one. Oh, he's done it again, Gavin. He's kicked four goals in the second half. I think that's when he had the straw that broke the camel's back. And, and they weren't easy goals either, which was exciting. And uh, that was probably when the, the celebratory mode started to probably start to sneak in. The, the inspiration that he gave our football club for you know so many years and, and on that day um, you know we, we couldn't have won the game without yeah, him. You know we're talking about one of the best players that would to ever play the game so one word that sums him up is just legend and but actually I, I don't think of him as um, a legend like the word that comes to my mind uh, is um, uh, very humble 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 one of the most humble champions you'd ever meet.